and welcome back this is Butler Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary in fact StarCraft 2 commentary number 100 my opponent in this upcoming match is Stewberry he is ranked number three in his gold division with 2176 points with a record of 219 wins and 191 losses and here we are in the game I have spawned as the Red Terran in the East east up against stewberry he is a blue terran in the north ish the map is scrap station and like i said this is my 100th commentary and as a little mini celebration i also found out that youtube is going to allow me to upload videos longer than 15 minutes so this should be the first video on my channel that is a full-length game over 15 minutes all in one video I'm very excited about this I, I, I don't like when I go to other players channels and I have to watch two or three videos for one match I don't like the separate loading screens and all that kind of stuff so I am psyched that you guys don't have to go through that on my channel anymore you should be able to watch the entire game in one video I'm very excited about this we are going for pretty much identical builds here, at least pretty early on. His supply depot is out front, whereas mine was a little bit in. His barracks is up slightly before mine, looks like by about three game seconds there. I hope I didn't give away too much by saying that this, was, this game was going to be longer than 15 minutes, but I'm sure you guys already knew that by the time you clicked on this video. I don't want to spoil anything about the game. Because if you watch it on full screen like I do when I watch other players play, or the player, other commentators commentate on the games, I always like to do it full screen. Reminds me of playing StarCraft 2 that way. And it's always hard to watch it when it's, when it's smaller. Oh, he took out my SUV. Oh, but this guy... This guy's a hero. He's like, oh, I got it from here, guys. It's just one second. But that's why, you know, I cover up the timer here. I don't want you guys to know when the game is going to end. I want that. Well, you guys obviously will know. Whenever you it, whenever you want, you could always just pause it and go, oh, this isn't going to win them the game. The game goes on for another ten minutes. You know, but I don't want the constant reminder, oh, this game isn't going to end for a long time. So I do, that's why I hide this. That's why I hope you guys watch it full screen. I would recommend it. I do have it up in 720p. Oh, my SCP just blew up over there. Damn you, Marine. So I've actually... What the hell? I lost... Oh, that's right. He killed my SCV here. And he didn't... He got away with his SCV. Oh, what a jerk. So, here's where we start to differ here. So, I saw that he was going for the block off. I saw that second barracks. I believe I saw that second barracks. Let's see. I am number one. So, yeah, I saw that second barracks coming out. So, I knew he was going for the block off. What I did not know is that he was going for the second refinery and a factory. So, we are going to be seeing a relatively quick tech build in terms of, well, relatively quick in comparison to what I'm going, I definitely will still go with the three racks. Although this is definitely a map where I should consider going for a techier build. Techier is a word that I just made up right now, by the way. Losing track of my macro, not getting an SCV or a mule. I need both right now when he drops a scan on my base. So he definitely knows what's going on here. He and he believes that he has the advantage and right now I'm willing to agree with him slightly I do have a little bit larger of an army but he is definitely ahead in the tech his spending has gone towards that whereas mine has definitely gone towards the army and the economy a little bit so I should have a lead I do have a lead in the harvester count but like I said, this is number 100. I am psyched about this. If you guys saw number 50, uh, you know, I like to throw mini celebrations on, on the big numbers. Not, now that I think about it, though, that's kind of weird for me because I don't 
really celebrate like New Year's Eve or anything like that. Whatever. So number 100. I'll be honest, when I started this this channel, this, all these commentaries, I assumed that 100 was going to be my stopping point. I, you know, I, that I'd be bored of the game by now, that I would want to move on to something else. And I would stop at 100. But I am here to tell you that no, this is definitely not the end. I don't know when the end is going to be, but it will go on for quite some time now. I can guarantee you that. You know, I, I will say this, that my next major milestone, I believe, will be 365 games. 365 commentaries that will be one year because I do post these once every day I don't know if that's going to be a stopping point for me you know it depends on how how I'm doing until then but 365 is definitely what I'm aiming for next medevac is loaded full of eight marines and he is going for a quick medevac drop. That's always a good strategy on this map, especially since I never bothered to push out. If I had, well, if I had, those guys would still be on their way. This is a huge rush distance, but he needs to get that down as soon as possible. Do not delay it on the island. And oh, look at that, right as I'm going for the missile turrets, I will not be able to cancel that in time. SCV dies. Oh, how many have I lost? Oh, too many, that's for sure. SCV is getting out of there. And Medevac able to make it out. I only killed one Marine. I actually highlighted some of those SCVs. No, get back on the line. They go back so fast. Oh, I'm always amazed by that. Back to the mineral line. It's been a while since I saw that, actually. So here I'm going for a counter push here. Because I assume, oh, he's teched up. So since he went for that fast medevac, he's not going to have the the siege tanks, the siege tech. He went for medevacs. So I'm going for a push here. I feel relatively secure with that. I'm actually going for the rocks here. I always love to go for the rocks here at this point because most Terrans will wall off this little choke here. So I want to go straight for the debris. Did I call them rocks? They're debris. They're metal. That's that's metal. I know the difference. I swear is it. So I'm finally going for weapons upgrade one? Oh man. Why do I have so much gas? Oh that's not good. So I'm taking out the debris. I do a relatively quick job of that. And I'm moving out and ha, I stopped it in the middle of building. Will he cancel it in time? What the hell is causing that? I don't have any programs open. That sucks. He does cancel it. And I'm moving out and here I assume, oh, he's going to go and try to meet me out there. So I move back around out here. Don't know if that was a smart idea or not. To be honest, it probably didn't matter all that much. Because these guys are going to die no matter what. Because he's got a lot of medevacs out. These guys are upgraded in no way at all. <laughs> Caught myself in a lie there, apparently. I thought those guys were upgraded. They are not. I swear I saw a stim pack go down on him, but I did not. So he is going for a counter medevac drop here. He's got three ships fully loaded. I don't have three ships worth of people to go out and get them. My macro is slipping as well, but not as much as his. Looking at the resources tab, yeah, his is definitely worse. So I'm going in, I'm stimming up, I'm just hoping that my stim is enough to cover it, and it looks like it will be. I don't have any marines left to take out. Now this guy, oh, there he went. Oh no, he dropped a couple more. I didn't see those guys. So I'm going to be losing this, and those guys survive with full health. Those medevacs still have a lot of energy on them. But it looks like I'm going to be able to take those out. I am getting my fourth and fifth barracks out now. He's still ahead in the 
the supply count right now, but I am ahead in harvesters. Neither one of us has our expansion. We both desperately need it. Look at that. That is fall. Oh, that is, that is horrible. Let's look at the resources. Yeah, uh, definitely he picked it up a lot faster than I did. Oh man, macro falling apart once again because I was focusing on this. I, uh, what am I producing now? Two marines and three marauders. That is not going to cut it. Not going to cut it. I am going for two starports here. I did get the factory down. Going to be going for starports because I want to counter his medevac drops with my own medevac drops. That's my thought process on that one. Command center being morphed into a planetary fortress. Oh, I don't recommend the Planetary Fortress there. I assume that he's just assuming that I'm going to go for that as my next attack point. But he did not see that I had two starports going up in the back. I'm getting an armory down as well. So I did catch up on the macro. Look at that, down to just under 100 minerals there. But that is because I need that expansion as soon as possible. My mineral income should be in the tank, and it's okay-ish, but nowhere near his right now. So I'm getting a reactor on that first starport. I Getting a second one on there, that's probably not the best idea. That is something that I used to do a lot when I went straight MMM builds no matter what. I would always get two starports with two reactors. That is not something I should be doing. I should be going for one reactor, one tech lab. And that is a lot of medevacs that he's got out on the field. How many is that? That Yeah, I've got all nine of them selected. Considering that... Okay. 24. So he's got just over a 2 to 1 ratio of units to medevacs. You know, units that can be loaded into the medevacs versus medevacs. Why do you need 10? Or, or sorry, why do you need 9? Nine? 9 is nine is too many. He's getting a double refinery at his expansion. I just, I, I just need minerals, so I'm not even bothering with the refineries right now. Got so much gas, but I will, I should be using that eventually, so I do keep those guys at the refineries there. Stop producing SCVs out of that orbit command. Got mules coming down at the at the my expansion because I do need the minerals so badly. One siege tank up in siege mode. He's not going to be doing that much damage there. Just the one of them. I do have all my infantry ball. My well, all my infantry ball. Just there's just the one of them out in front to make sure that he doesn't go for this expansion and I am doing one up on him I am getting a supply depot to guard this destructible debris meanwhile medevacs are finally on the way and they should start healing up macro still not where it should be he is definitely outspending me right now alright so four medevacs Everybody here healed up. It's time to move out, isn't it? I guess not yet. Meanwhile, I am getting weapons upgrade level 2. He is just now working on level 1. These guys should be 1-1 one, one right now. They are fully upgraded until that armory went up. Now, of course, they don't have all the upgrades that they need. And I'm working on those sooner rather than later. But I do need a sec. I would love to see a second engineering bay for me, so I can get that second armor upgrade done faster. I never use all this stuff down here. I'll be honest. I I never even think about it. I don't even know what it does. What is this missile range? Yeah, plus one range to turrets, planetary fortress, and the stuff from the ravens. Uh, Neil steel frames increases cargo space in the bunkers by two, and then upgrade structure armor. So here I go for a drop in the back of his base. He's completely out of position. He does have a massive army. He should be able to pick this off no problem. So I'm going in. I need to get some work done on those SCVs, but instead I'm going for supply depots like a 
dumbass. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Get at... Oh, there's just... I'd say load these guys up, but there's just too many Marines there for me to do anything to them. So everything going down. Medivac should have left a long time ago. These two will not make it out alive. Oh, maybe he does. Yes, he does. That guy is a champ. He has actually stopped producing there. So his APM is absolutely crushing me, but nothing on the production. Oh, what's going on with him? I am still producing the army, still getting the medevacs, still getting the marines, still getting the marauders, still getting the upgrades, and now vikings are on the way as well. Caught up with the resources, so we are about even, so it does look like my little macro slip did go away. I did finally get that third refinery up and running. Meanwhile, SCV is going out, going to be securing a third base for me. This is not something that you're used to seeing in my games, or at least you're probably not used to seeing in my games. It's a pretty long, drawn-out game here, so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to need a third. I rarely need a third. Oh my gosh, look at all those medevacs. Oh, and most of them are, oh, uh, almost all of them are fully loaded. Oh, this looks bad for me. Oh... Oh, this is not good. Barracks going down. He actually destroyed... I'm pretty sure he destroyed one of my supply depots just by landing a tank on it. But these guys, of course, only have one upgrade. Meanwhile, these guys are now 2-1 and with stim. Do these guys have stim? They do, but it doesn't look like they've used it. So I'm moving in. I am, I, even though he has a larger army, I am better upgraded because I have spent more on technology. Look how much more I've spent on technology. That is why you do it. Because all these medevacs, they can't do nothing. Except die to my one marine that le that's left, apparently. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? Let's go. Let's let's do this right now. That w I'm pretty sure that was an all-in for him. That's what I was thinking, but it wasn't. He still has a few left here, of course. These guys take up what is that? Uh, a thousand, a thousand. So really, he's uh, 1150, 300. So what am I doing with these guys? I'm queuing up, and I'm going for a drop at his expansion that I know he has, because he has to have it, otherwise he wouldn't have been able to produce as much as he sent into my base. Meanwhile, I'm getting the level 2 armor upgrade, getting two more marines, two more marauders. Where are my replacement barracks, though? That is what I want to know. They are nowhere. So I'm fully overly saturated 24 25 that is that's more than enough there all my meals going down at my third doing a quick medevac drop inside his expansion doing some damage here so I'm able to hold on to the lead in the Harvester count. He's going for the Island expansion. That is incredibly... S Actually, I would normally say stupid. But um, considering that I know for a fact that I never catch that, that's pretty smart. So I don't even bother uh, trying to, to finish these guys off. I just load up and move into his main. I feel like I've done enough damage. And I, f I felt like he was going to be moving his army down there. So I could take out, uh, I could catch him off guard, catch him off position, and start getting some damage done in here. And here he does a horrible job. He drops the guys here, and then puts them through this choke where I can fire at them pretty much one at a time as they walk through. So I'm able to get a lot of damage done. He just figured that out, lifting off the barracks so he can get a little bit better positioning on him. He had a couple tanks in there, let alone all the marauders. He should have won that easily. But because he, he, he went through that little choke there, I was able to get a lot of damage done, a lot more damage than I normally would have in that situation had it been a little bit different. I finally have siege tanks out. 
starting cranking those out. I do have I do have the siege tank siege mode upgrade. He does scan my expansion. This SCV doesn't know what to do. I haven't actually told him how, what to do yet. He doesn't get the armor up the the damage upgrades the, the weapons upgrade. He doesn't actually use a gun and therefore the bullets that I bought for him will not go well. And here, oh my gosh, he's going for my expansion. Finally, my two replacement barracks are going up. There we go. Put that in the bad spot again. I don't know if you guys caught that. I had to lift it off to put a reactor there. And what do I do? I just move it right back to the same spot where I'll have to lift it off again. I have absolutely nothing to protect my orbital command down here. Once again, huge amount of minerals. Where are my marines? I need more and more marines. I finally, like, oh crap, I should probably lift that off. Eh, but it was too late by then, and the marines had done their damage. So I'm moving in. Once again, those vikings should do a little bit of damage on those medevacs, but there's just so many of them that really those, those vikings don't need to be there. So I'm going in, taking out everything he's got, Am I able to take anything out? Doesn't look like it. He's still got, how many does he have? He's still got seven medevacs. I've got nine, but I've got the army, you know? He's, ugh, wow. Like I said, okay, seven, seven, seven. So literally he's got two, uh, two combined marines and marauders to every medevac that he's got out in the field. That is a lot of medevacs, and most of them won't be able to do anything, really. So I'm going in, going for the, going for where the debris was again, taking out the supply depots. And once again, this is what I assumed would happen, is that he goes here to counter me here so I just move back to where he was and I catch him off guard and I'm able to snipe the siege tank before it does any sort of damage and I'm just I'm sieging these guys up and I'm moving the rest of my army into his base these guys will have to drop a stim to take out these siege tanks they probably didn't have to but they did and I'm moving into his base I'm starting to get some damage done, re-stimming re up when the army does finally engage me, and I should be able to wipe that out easily, not even using all my forces for that. His first Vikings are finally out. But as I continue to destroy everything around him, he is forced to GG. I'm finally getting weapons level 3. Where, where were you? That was supposed to be a while ago that I had that up. And that's the game. So number 100 ends with a win for me. With horrible macro at the end. Horrible macro in the middle. Just just not very good throughout. But, you know, he pretty much matched me with that. Uh, so it went, ended up being a pretty evenly matched game. And what ended up uh, in my favor was the upgrades. You know, 2-2 two, two versus, let's find one... Ah, uh, he's he doesn't have any left. Well, these these guys didn't have any armor. Let's see, is there a engineering bay here? So yeah, he did get the weapons level one. He and that was it. He spent pretty much the same amount on the army as I did. It's you know negligible there when you're talking about fifteen or sorry sixteen to seventeen thousand minerals in army you know that 1000 or 900 actually isn't that big of a difference here's where the big difference came in he lost over 5000 more in units lost uh, than I did completely stopped the production pretty much and my EPM at the end was really high actually but 33 that's that's pretty average for me that might actually be pretty high uh, so, once again, interesting game.
I like this one because it was a long one and it was back and forth it seemed like you know when he landed here I thought I was screwed I'm like holy crap that is a ton of stuff but then I went in with my army and you know started wiping it out because he didn't have any upgrades and next thing I know I'm back in the game going for uh, my counter attacks medevac drops probably did play a big part here because I did take out a lot of SCVs look at that I have 40 harvesters compared to his 27 even this late in the game he's still mining off of two base or at least he should be I'm only mining off of one because he destroyed my expansion here oh it was sad I didn't have anything to protect it though I should have at least sent uh, some of my forces here I, I always hate splitting my forces though because if he had gone for a medevac drop here and my army was down at the Selnaga watchtower it would have been bad for me so you know I don't like splitting my forces but I think in this case it would have been justified because then um, if he had dropped you know into my base I could have sent my army here at the watchtower into his base and vice versa so it would have been somewhat of a base race base race and it would have been a good game so I hope you guys have enjoyed this game I hope you enjoyed all my games all hundred of them now uh, I did think about what I was going to do special for you guys on the 100 video and I couldn't think of anything so really this is just the best game from the day that I had played it just happened to be 100 I didn't have to play them out of order or anything Plus, YouTube told me that I can upload videos of longer than 15 minutes, so I will be loading this into one video, even though, looking at the game clock here, it actually says 28 minutes and 54 seconds. I'll probably end up using two videos for this, if I had to use them in 15 minutes videos. But no, this is going to be one long video. I hope you guys enjoy it, because I know I, I, that's how I enjoy watching StarCraft 2. So I hope you guys laughed. Uh, I do try to stay funny. Um, I fail out at most days, but I hope that some of it gets through. I hope you guys learned. You know, there's you learn from other people's mistakes, whether or not you know better already or not. There's always learning to be had. And I hope to see you next time. Uh, if you want to see more from me, the best way to do that is to subscribe. I don't want to bake for subscribers. I'll just mention that. Hey, you know, if you want to see more, subscribe, and I'll go right into your main subscriptions module, it's called. Uh, it, when you go into YouTube.com, it'll show up there. Hit my, you know, my, hit, click your name, subscriptions. Boom, entire page of your entire subscriptions. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.